Hi everyone, Amy with AMG Innovative Consultants again. This time we're going to talk about customer service. I wrote this blog March 3rd, 2020, and this is really why I put a focus on small to medium businesses versus going and working for a large corporation. Um, so a question I am often asked is why focus on small to medium businesses? Simply, you believe in customer service. Every business I've worked in has reinforced why customer service is so important. Does this mean I won't work for larger businesses? No. However, in my experience, larger companies do not place value on the customer experience. No matter what options I recommend to help your business, it is always with the customer in mind. I worked in retail up to the housing bubble bursting in about 2008, 2009. What kept me number one? customer service. I worked for nonprofits. What was my secret to my success? Customer service. My focus in helping you achieve your business goals is customer service. How does the customer use your website? Why do customers walk into your store? Why do customers use your services? It's you. It's what you offer. It's how you treat the customers. My last video was on my blog, um, store closure regional operations manager my background in starting uh, this goal of becoming a business consultant right and i vaguely touched on this topic in that blog the first thing i did in the fashion store was to put the focus back on the customer i not only focused on the external customer but the internal or your employee as well the store I walked into was a hot mess. Employees were disgruntled, which meant they did not see the need to work with the customers who walked into the store. Could I cure all the problems of the employees? No, but what I did was to create an even playing field. In retail, working weekends and holidays are part of the game. The previous manager had a group of people who were told they would only work weekends and holidays, no other shifts. Then she hired people who worked only specific days, but they didn't have to work any weekends or holidays. So the situation created a lot of animosity amongst the staff. When I came in, I changed the policy of how we hired staff for the store. We rotated weekends and holidays. No one person or group of people had to work all of them. If you joined my team, we were a team. I cleaned the bathroom just as often as the stock person and I worked weekends and holidays. I led by example. Now, did everyone jump on board with the new system? Nope. Those who were never scheduled to work weekends or holidays jumped ship first. But the difference in the attitude of those who stayed was immediate. My staff saw the difference. They felt heard and understood. Once they started to feel positive about the job, they began helping customers with enthusiasm. I could trust my team to do their jobs with smiles on their faces. So why is this important? This allowed me to focus on other aspects of the business which were holding us back. My team was helping customers, which meant lower phone bills for the store. It meant that because they were too busy doing their jobs to call their friends. Supplies stopped disappearing from our shelves. Theft from the sales floor decreased because my staff greeted and worked with everyone. All because the employees felt respected and returned that respect. So not only did my sales go up, but my profit and loss statement began to improve as well. So if you're curious to see how I can help your company improve sales and P&L, and maybe you're just trying to figure out how to balance employees with your needs as a business owner, go to my website, amginnovativeconsultants.com, book a consultation. Let's discuss your, your business, a customized plan, and the investment it will take to get your business to go up to the next level. All right, thanks again for listening, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave comments and questions below, and I will be more than happy to interact with you guys. So have a great day, and we'll chat soon.